Oh boy. Hey guys, um, I am running late because I've been spending all morning reading your amazingly wonderful, kind, thoughtful, sweet, supportive, uplifting, just I have the most amazing subscribers on YouTube. I do. And I did not put that rant up there or ask for your comments um, to get um, any kind of ego boost from you guys, but that was an unexpected benefit, so thank you so very much. Real quick outfit of the day, I want to give you a pointer on how not to feel schlubby. Schlubby, I think it's a Yiddish word or a word that my family uses, basically means, how do you describe schlubby? Just kind of looking bleh, you know, like not a great outfit. Um, that was a great definition. Anyway, I'm wearing an old, um, this is actually from the men's section at Target. <laughs> it's from a year or two ago, and it's just a military three-quarter length kind of baseball sleeve shirt. And then my fat jeans, they're Joe's jeans. Joe's jeans are really stretchy. So um, there's a lot of forgiveness in them. And it's it's just kind of a not great outfit, but I, I decided to pick it up a notch to make me feel a little bit more power woman by wearing these. Let me see if I can. How am I gonna show you my shoes? Hang on. These are my shoes. There we go. I got these a week or so ago from Ann Taylor. I'm really digging Ann Taylor, not loft, but Ann Taylor uh, shoes. They're amazing. Relatively inexpensive as compared to like, you know, high end. They're in the hundreds range instead of two, three, four hundred and up. So, you know, like comparable with probably nine West-ish something like that. They're majorly comfortable. I found out that Ann Taylor recently commissioned Vince Camuto to make their shoes, so maybe that's why they're all of a sudden awesome. Anyway, so it just elevates the outfit and turns just a basic pair of t-shirt and jeans into something a little more exciting, I guess. Anyway, I'm off to get my hair done so that these roots will go away, and I will see you when I am newly blonde. Hello, this is Cindy Lou Who, talking to you from the K. Charles Salon. No, seriously, look at this. I'm still not giving up on filming here in the salon with my colorist to tell you what she does, but that hasn't happened yet, obviously, or you would have seen it. Um, but I can tell you that what I've got going on here is she did my base, and then she always adds a few more highlights just to kind of break up the parting and so it blends better, from what I understand. Um, I know about as much about hair color as I do about open heart surgery. So, I'm sorry if I can't be more helpful. I cannot give you my formula because I don't have it. <laughs> uh, but I go to the K. Charles Salon in Stone Oak area of San Antonio, and Erica does my color. So if you live in San Antonio, but she books up. Like, I'm booked up six months out with her, so she's hard to get a hold of, which is very good. Anyway, I'm going to let this, I think I cook for about 30 minutes, and then they wash it all off. So I'm going to read my book. I am loving a book series that I will talk about in my March favorites next week. So two weeks, I don't know, whenever that is. It's going up on my birthday, March 30th. That's when March favorites is going up, I think. So I will list that. But in the meantime, I'm going to get to reading and enjoy a little alone time. Hey guys, I'm all done. I am I mean, so... you hear people like whoops, this woman Sorry, radio's on. I am so loving my hair. I don't know if you can tell in this light. Um, but their Aveda just came out with this new, it's called Blonde Finishing, and there's three different tones, sort of like a glaze that they put on your hair after they color it, and I got the beige one, and it just really pulled all the brassiness out, so yes, I'm admiring my hair color in the viewfinder, because it's awesome! Um, also, Aveda sent me a bunch of products, which I think I talked about, from their new spring line and their curly hair stuff. And um, I didn't show you the makeup that they sent me, but they sent me s some of the spring collection. And one of the things they didn't send me was the lip gloss. There's like two lip colors. One is like a pretty spring pink and the other one is more of a corally, reddy color. And they sent me the pink lipstick and the pink lip pencil, which I wore in some vlog at some point. But when I was at the salon, I saw the pink lip gloss and um, it's Nourish Mint Lip Gloss, Lip Glaze, and Pink Hibiscus, and it's gorgeous, so I bought it. I'm gonna put it on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I put it on. I will say, if you don't like sticky lip glosses, you're not gonna like this. It's definitely sticky. It has a minty smell and a little... No, it doesn't tingle at all, but it has a minty smell to it, so that's always a bonus. Um, it's pretty sheer 
for compared to what it looks like in the in the tube I would definitely wear this layered over something I don't think I would wear it alone I think I would wear it either over the lip pencil or over a more matte lipstick I like that balance it's definitely sticky which I don't love sticky but I know if you want a longer wearing lip gloss then sticky is the way to go oh it tastes a little minty too Very tasty. All right, I'm gonna get home because it looks like it's gonna rain and I don't want it to rain on my hair. Hey guys, um, somewhat uneventful afternoon. I did go up to the school, to the middle school. My youngest son came home yesterday very upset because a teacher, his Spanish teacher, um, had introduced some new material to the class and decided to move on to the next topic. And there's one boy in his class that has always struggled and, and uh, I guess throughout the school year and didn't understand it and she made an announcement to the class and said I'd like to move on to the next subject we all know that one of you just isn't getting it and it's slowing down the rest of the class or something to that effect my younger son was very upset that this teacher basically I mean that is the definition of bullying for those of you who are throw that word around a lot it's when someone uses their position to belittle or a demean somebody else just to be absolutely cruel and it's funny both my kids have told me over and over again that you know the schools both their schools always talk about bullying and anti-bullying this and these rallies and wear this and awareness and yet the only bullying that they've ever heard about or witnessed firsthand is teachers abusing their position of authority to put down students so teachers start listening to the stuff you're teaching your kids now I'm not painting all of these teachers with the same brush. Hands down, both of my sons have had amazing teachers and wonderful experiences in education. But every once in a while you get that bad apple that in every profession there's going to be, you know, a handful of people that just shouldn't do what they're doing. So um, I went up to the school today and made an appointment with the academic dean and let her know what was going on in the classroom because they need to be aware of when that stuff happens. So they are looking into the matter. I doubt anything will come of it, but at least I can go to sleep with a good conscience knowing that I didn't just let it go and say nothing. I just, oh, how anyone would want to abuse, a, to hurt a child like that is beyond me. Anyway, on a happier note, I get free two-day shipping from Sephora, and uh, I ordered the, I'm so excited, I've been wanting this for over a year. It was, it's been available in the UK, but not here. It's the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. Yes, and so what's cool about this is it's a foam, but that's not what's cool. What's cool is that you put it on, and then you can wash it off anywhere from one to three hours, depending on how dark you want to be. So um, it says advanced bronzing mousse, one hour for light, two hours for medium, and three hours for dark. So I am just going to do my legs, because I don't want to mess up my hair and have to take a shower. So I'm just going to do my legs, exfoliate like crazy, and then um, in the tub, I'm take a little bath, and then... Um, give this a go. So I'll let you know how that works. I don't know if I want to show my legs. I did show my legs in an Instagram picture, but they're pasty white and not particularly attractive. But for you guys, I may give it a go. Then because it's my birthday this month, March 30th, woohoo, the big four two, um, I get a special birthday gift because I'm VIB Rouge, which only means that I've spent way too much money in a calendar year. And it is larger than life long wear eyeliner, apparently in black and two velvet satin lip pencils. This one in, ooh, this is, ooh, my arm is hurting, hang on. Re, I don't know, I can't spell it. I'll spell it, I'll put it in the description box. It's like that, it's getting dark. And I should swatch it, hang on. Well, that's pretty. And I'll just keep you down there so I can swatch the other one. This one is Cruella. Okay, this one's like a cult classic as well. And this is, um, is this also the satin? It's a velvet matte lip. Okay, so not really focusing. There we go. So both lovely. I have to say very creamy. Okay, let's swatch them all. This is Via Veneto. Oh, I've heard of this. I mean, I know it's just a black eyeliner, but it's supposed to be... It's a black eyeliner, guys. How do you get excited over that? You don't. And then... Um, I mean, I, I like my Rimmel black eyeliner, too. What else did I get? Nude Perfect Cleanse Omega Cleansing Jelly. That kind of sounds gross. I mean, I know I picked it, but Omega 6 and 9, Bitter Orange, and Annatto Seed Extract. Sometimes I think, like, they just go, what can we put in this? This sounds cool. Like, what random crap can we put in a cleanser? 
what is a natto seed extract and why do I want that on my face? I don't know. And then they gave me the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying in Ivory. Don't know when I'm gonna use that. Oh, they gave me two, thank you. And Glam Glow Super Cleanse. Super Cleanse, Daily Clearing Cleanser. Mud to Foam. Ooh, I might have the boys try this because I don't know that I really need that. Anyway, that's my mini haul, mostly samples and swatching. I'm gonna go take a bath and get my tanning on. Hey guys, I am, um, I don't know what I'm about to say. I am so tired. I could not sleep last night. I was reading my book and I looked and it was midnight and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I should be asleep. I could not sleep. You know that sinking feeling you get when you go, oh boy, I gotta get up in a few hours. So it's probably closer to one, I think, by the time I actually fell asleep and then I, my alarm went off at six. So that's stink. Stinked? Stank? St wasn't great. So I am so tired, I can barely put sentences together. Um, I'm just chillaxing on the couch, uh, waiting for the meatloaf. I have meatloaf in the oven. That's cooking. And then I'm gonna make some just packaged macaroni and cheese for the kiddos. I'm not gonna touch that stuff. I put on my Saint Tropez tanner. Here's what's going on. Hello, Wrigley. And um, I have my slightly chunky, pasty-ish white legs, and it's the color will develop, I guess. I don't know. And then I should probably note what time I put it on, about 4.45. I have been binge watching Laura Vitale's beauty channel. Nobody told me she had a beauty channel. Guys, we're all supposed to be friends here. Friends are supposed to share these things. Kristen Game told me this morning. No clue, I just thought she had a cooking channel. Um, cannot get enough of her. I love her, I just wanna squeeze her. She's awesome and she's gorgeous and she's sweet and I, I like watching her. Anyway, so I'm gonna call it a night and, um, oh, the Saint Tropez, real quick, mini review. Smells lovely, looks green. Not on the skin, but when it comes out, which is funky. So anyway, more on that after I finish developing and everything, and then I'll, I'll do a little review on that later. So I'm gonna go see who's emailing me and call it a day and see you all tomorrow. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot even keep up with all the comments. It's like 500 and something comments. That's just on yesterday's video. That was really sweet. So thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Mwah. Bye. Hey guys, I'm at the grocery store and I want to show you how I keep track of things. I keep talking about this Cozy app. I don't know if you can see this. So what's cool about the Cozy app is 